Everybody talking about heaven ain't going there, oh my lord. Well, I'd rather follow the streets of gold. Alright, here we go now. The compressor straightening vanes are also called outlet vanes. There's two types of axle compressors, the single rotor spool solid and the dual rotor split spool solid. Most unit gas turbine engines have this dual rotor split spool and the gas turbine engine turbofan engines. We have a low pressure and high pressure system. We have the combustion chamber that is also called the gas generator. The Big V is a variable inlet guide vane. The Vis V is a variable stator vane. The diffuser behind the compressor. We reduce high velocity compressor discharge air and change it into increased pressure and low velocity. Combustion section houses the combustion process and raises the temp of the engine air. Two thirds of the energy comes from the combustion chamber and one third of the energy comes from the turbine section. The combustion chambers are behind the compressor and in front of the turbine section. Combustion section burns the fuel air mixture, makes the fuel air for proper combustion, burns mixture efficiently, and cools hot combustion products to operating conditions delivers hot gases to turbine section. The casting contains the inner liner, the initial ignition, fuel induction, and drainage system. Types of rotors, the drum type and the disc type. The spool has compression stages and turbine stages on it. The pros of the centrifugal compressor system has high pressure per stage, wide RPM range efficiency, simplicity, and low money to maintain. Lightweight power starting requirements are low as well. The cons are large front area for given airflow losses of efficiency in turns between stages. Axial compressor, the pros, high peak efficiency, small front area for given airflow, and changes of flow, and has high ram efficiency and high pressure by increasing the stages with small losses. Cons, efficient RPM range is small, high money and difficult to produce. High difficulty and high money to produce. High weight and high power starting requirements. Two types of combustion, three types of combustion chambers is the annular, can, and can annular. There's interconnecting tubes between the cans, flame propagators, and spark igniters. You want to drain the fuel so that the starting temps don't cause damage. There can be an after fire when the ignition is turned off, but the fire keeps going. There can be high temps on startup there's fuel left in there. So that's why we have fuel drainage systems. We have secondary and primary area in the system. We have duplex and simplex nozzles. We have gas generator absorbing 60 to 70 percent of the total pressure energy from the exhaust gases. We have turbine blades that are ducted to increase efficiency. We have low pressure compressors in the fan prop and turbo shaft engines. We have single stage turbine and multi-rotor turbines, low and high stage turbines, all kinds of turbines, stator, turbine inlet nozzle vanes, turbine inlet guide vanes, and nozzle diaphragm. Rotor is a shaft and a wheel. We have a turbine disc without any turbine blades on it, and then we have the turbine wheel with turbine blades on it. Turbo shaft is typically alloy steel. Hope you guys learned something. Yeah.